Hey everyone, this is Alex or Polymomoti, and today I have another video of my bug series and this is how to make cute little ladybugs out of polymer clay and resin. So the first thing you'll need is a mold and here I have a half circle mold so I'm just putting some clay in this half circle mold and I'm making sure I'm making a nice dome shape. Then I'm going to cut off the excess clay. And I'm going to cut the circle about a third of the way through and that'll be the head part. And then I'm planning out three dots of black clay for the spots. And then I'm going to roll out a thick snake of black clay and I'm going to cut it into six equal pieces and these will be the legs. Next step you want to bake the clay pieces according to instructions and you should have something like this. Then I'm going to take some UV resin and spread it all over the half circle mold. Next I'm placing the little headpiece that we made into the half circle mold along with the three clay dots that we made. And before I cure under the UV lamp I'm just rearranging it with a toothpick. Next I'm going to take some UV resin, pour it into a little container and add some red pigment into it and mix it. And we're going to use this to fill in the rest of the mold. And once filled, we want to cure it under the UV lamp. And then I just flipped it over and I gave it a nice domed layer. And the little clay legs that we made I thought were a little bit too long so I just cut it up in half again. And I'm going to place six little dots of super glue all around the ladybug and I'm placing the little legs on it. Next we're going to make the watermelon themed one so instead of a black head I gave it a light green head. And I followed the same way where I made UV resin everywhere and I filled it with little black teardrop shapes for the watermelon seeds. And after curing the layer with the watermelon seeds, I added some pink pigments to some UV resin and pour that into the mold and let that cure as well and after the whole doming process and everything I added the legs which were a darker green color and for a different design I have another ladybug that I'm making this one also with a black head I gave it similar black dots like the very first ladybug we made. But this time instead of coloring it with some UV pigment, we're going to add some glitters instead. And we're going to let that cure. And here is the glittery one. The back side looks a lot more shinier than the front side I think. And for the final step, I'm taking some UV resin and glazing all over to give it an extra shine. And once fully glazed and cured, you should have a final product that looks like these. And I just love how like spinny they are. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I made three different kinds of ladybugs. An original, a watermelon themed, and a super glittery one. And I hope you guys enjoy. And don't forget to check out my previous video which was a dragonfly tutorial. And I think the next bug might be a butterfly. Not quite sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you.